A very good morning, everybody. It's 9/11. Reminds you of the 9/11 of the U.S. Uh, the Indian markets also are going to go through a 9/11 today, um, thanks to the uh, overnight uh, demonetization of the 500,000 rupee notes, uh, which will now uh, not be legal tender currency. So, what is the impact of that? It seems that the season is going to be all about recall. On one side, you have Samsung recalling its notes, and in India, we are doing a different type of recall of notes. The impact is going to be largely severe because we have a very huge parallel black money economy, which also runs parallelly to the mainstream. So, what are we going to expect from the markets? The markets will definitely uh, show a thumbs down on that because. Uh, a lot of sectors are going to be affected initially. In all, we could see the real estate sector, which is going to be uh, impacted at at the you know at at large, and then we're going to see the um, gambling, hospitality, hotels, luxury cars, uh, white goods. All of them are going to see a deceleration in demand. The farm incomes are all in cash, so that's a cause of concern as well. And we need to see how uh, this gets addressed. There will be a panic initially in terms of a rush to the banks for change, and we have to see how the banks are going to cope with the new uh, currency and to change with the old hundreds if they have more. A lot of issues are going to crop up suddenly, and uh, definitely the growth is not going to be as strong as what it was in the previous uh, quarter. So seven percent growth, I think, will take a hit. For at least one or two quarters, still India stabilizes in its new form and new avatar. This 9/11 surgery was very much needed after the income declaration scheme didn't do too well, and um, uh, we could definitely see more money coming back into the mainstream. This will be very good for banks; uh, they will have great casa ratios. But jewelry and all discretionary spending is definitely going to take an impact. And as US is right now counting its votes. And we, of course, are counting our notes. Uh, Trump seems to be neck and neck, or slightly having an edge after getting Florida. So uh, markets are definitely poised for high impact, high shock, and high volatility today. Take care, and uh, remember one thing: the story is never over. It's always, as they say, the darkest dawn. The the darkest hour is just before dawn. So maybe before a new dawn. You have to go through this tunnel of darkness and this surgery, which is required. Thank you. Bye bye.